everyone, and welcome to season two of Oi, Queen Super na My name is Carla Lazardo, by the way. <laughs> I know, I was kind of tearing up also. And I'm here with Pia Words back and Bianca Gedotti. Hi, guys. I'm super proud. We have Hello. this whole new look. <laughs> Beautiful. And then, yeah, while the OBB was playing, I was getting goosebumps. Like, I was because, you know, we really wanted to make this new season super special for all of our viewers. So uh, we really, like, poured out everything <laughs> to really Aww. make the show better. So sana ma-enjoy nyo yung mga shows na dadali namin sa inyo for Quintuhan Season 2. Yes. Ooh, wow. I'm so oh excited. Gosh. I'm so happy. Kasi ang ganda din nung um, naging feedback with our season one. So, you know, the, we decided, the girls and I decided that kailangan ibigay namin yung talagang deserve new guys. So, ginawa namin na in-improve talaga namin yes. siya. We took a short break just to make sure that everything's ready and polished for you guys. And now we're here. How yes. are you guys? Hello. Kamusta naman? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I can't believe we're back with MECQ. But, you know, ganun talaga. Uh, we are just trying to make the best decision for everyone involved. So I hope everyone's okay. And I'm just super excited about our season 2. I love our new look. I love our new um, social media account. So if you guys have not joined our new social media accounts, please go on over and you can just look. Look for them. We have FB group. We have the FB page. We have Instagram and Twitter. So Quintuhan Pod for Instagram and Twitter. And then just Quintuhan for our Facebook group. So yeah. Yeah, so, so hit the follow button. Yes, we are really, really excited about this, as you can tell. And of course, aside from the whole new look, new logo, new StreamYard theme, everything, we also have new segments. And we're starting things out with our Royal Roll Call. So, gusto lang namin magpa shout out before we start today's show. Starting with all of our viewers who actually joined our community naming contest. So, we want to give a special shout out to Jean Reginald Beltran, Luis Leonardo, and Corina Garcia. Also, a big hello and thank you for joining our community, Hannah Picho, Mike Herrera, and Kathleen Marie. Also to Ria Manawis, Aiza, Aliza C, and Cherry Ann Makaya. Meron din tayong Gerald Pakaon, Rhea Baldomesa, Bam Aldina. Tuloy-tuloy ko na to, Carla, ha? Yeah, go. Go for um, it, P. <laughs> Kyla Buena, <laughs> Andre Almanzor, Owen Nero, and Ina Joya. And of course, one more special, special shout out. And I know he's watching right now. Kay Ems Heraldo na tumulong pagandahin ang aming new quintuhan. Thank you so salamat. much, Ems. And I'm Thank just going you. through our live chat also. So, nandito yung mga Ashtis. Thank you so much for supporting us sa first ep ng season oh, 2. Hi, you. Ashtis. Hi. Ano na ko ng ganun? Thank you, Ashtis. <laughs> Season 2 and the uh, two team underdogs. Thank you so much for supporting. All right, moving on. That was our royal roll call. Again, thank you so much. And Sana, you tell all of your friends, yung mga pageant um, supporters, Jan, tell them about Quintuhan para ma mapalakira natin yung community natin and we can talk all about pageants. Yes. And speaking of pageants, yeah. it's time for our Queen Cap. So, medyo matagal kaming nawala. Maraming nangyari sa beauty queen scene. And I guess one of the biggest news items was that Miss Supranational, the crown, is now with the Miss World Philippines franchise. So, oh. that was that was big news. Yeah, that's and it's, big news. Yeah, for sure. It's interesting because yung Miss Supra pala, they accept candidates up to 29 years old. So, maga adjust yung Miss World Philippines. They're thinking of adjusting the age limit to 28. And diba, dati, um, until 26 years old lang. So, it's a big deal because this opens up a door for a lot of girls who mm -hmm. felt like they were over 
age, hindi. Pwede pa kayo mag Miss Supra. So, that's an interesting development from the Miss World Philippines franchise. They're already accepting applicants. And another interesting thing is that yung mga nanalo na ng crown sa Miss World Philippines dati, pwede pa silang sumali ulit. Wow. I know a lot of people are asking about when if she would, you know, if she would get the chance to join again. I don't know kung gusto niya, pero pwede daw. Pwede pa. Yes. Si Lau pwede rin. Pwede. So Marami if you were holding pa. another crown, another chance. I mean, if you're if you're not done with your pageant journey, like, this is a whole new opportunity for you. Kasi kunyari sa Binibini, di ba? Parang you can't join for another crown once once you, you've joined Binibini already and once you've been assigned yeah. a crown. But then yeah. some Miss World Philippines, pwede na. Does that apply for pwede. the other crowns as well? Yes. Oh, I wow. actually asked okay. Mamaru, who is, of course, with the Miss World franchise <laughs> now, and she's the one confirm. <laughs> so thank you wow. for giving us that information. So, yeah. so wait, so wait. In, in theory, Miss... I can still join Miss World, even though I have a Miss International Philippines crown. Yes. 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 Joke oh. lang. Wala akong plano. <laughs> <laughs> Madam. Madam 30. Naka na. <laughs> Pero alam mo. na tayo. <laughs> Pero naalala niyo ba noon na yung, yung age limit ng Miss International was 24, was it? Remember that? Yeah. It was 24 mm-hmm. then. And then, ngayon, umuusod na, no? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Parang, alam mo, may chance na yung mga tao. Oo. Kung sa last year pa pala, pwede pa ako sumali ulit. Hindi <laughs> 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 pa na ano eh, no? Hindi pa natapos. <laughs> anyway, okay. Let's move on to the next um, bagong balita naman. Miss Universe Thailand 2020 was officially launched last August 4 at Index Creative Village, Watana, Bangkok. The Thai beauty pageant will utilize AR technology and online streaming platforms for the contest. In addition, TikTok is also being integrated to make the pageant more fun and colorful. Mowad will design the crown. They also designed the Miss Universe 2019 crown. So, um, ang alam ko, ongoing na yung um, application ngayon, yung audition. So, nag apply na yung mga candidates. And then, on September 8, they have an elimination process where from 70, they'll they'll cut down to 30, and then those 30 official candidates will compete um, on August 7 for the prelims and August 10, ay, sorry, October 7 prelims, and then October 10 yung finals. So lahat to online na mangyayari. Yes. All Actually, very interesting. Online, which I think na parang will be very interesting. Ang dami nilang in-integrate na online things. Like, I want to see all the TikToks. Alam ko, P, mahilig kang mag-browse sa TikTok. <laughs> Excited na ako to see like how they're going to integrate it to the pageant. Yeah. They're making it more fun, more young, more new, more relatable, I guess. Because, I mean, like it or not, social media and TikTok is it's kind of taking over the world. So, um, yes. diba? Parang, I love that hindi na siya yung naka-box before na sa TV lang at ganitong oras mo lang siya mapapanood at talagang hindi hindi mo makikita yung mga girls na nag-TikTok. Ngayon, parang... Pwede na. So let's see yeah. how this all plays out. What do you think about it, Mar? Well, definitely, um, well, what you said, na, again, it shows how the role of the beauty queen is changing. Iba na, they want the beauty queens who are real, who are human. Hindi, hindi na tayo na sa pedestal na ah, perfection, goddess. Hindi pwedeng makita na pangit yung mukha. Hindi pwedeng mm. Bungis-ngis. Iba na, no, it's personality. And I love that. Um, TikTok, per se, honestly, yeah. 
I don't, I, wala. Sabihin ko lang, hindi talaga ako matay-topic. <laughs> I, 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 I take the privacy uh, situation, the privacy risk very seriously. I mean, call me praneng, call me paranoid, but I guess that's just me right now. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, I just want to be careful about my data and I know that TikTok has a lot of like wishy-washiness around that. So, Ooh. Oh well, next passage <laughs> is also about something wishy washy, by the way. Yes. <laughs> it is, it is. Um, so basically, there is drama in the Miss Universe Venezuela organization. Uh, Queen Stephanie, S T H E, Stephanie Gutierrez and Thalia Olivio spoke out that they were mistreated by the organization's committee. Uh, Nina Cecilia, who was the very first uh, Miss International Venezuela, Jacqueline Aguilera, who was the uh, who was Miss World from Venezuela, and of course, as we all know, Gabriela Isler, who was Miss Universe. Uh, they failed to well. The girls said that they failed to provide the support they needed during their reign, and this is a developing story. So we are watching out for updates. I did read um, a little bit of their statement. Uh, which was in Spanish. Um, it kind of, well, um, they're just saying that these three organizers who were past beauty queens um, are taking the limelight. They're saying that they they are they want to be the more prominent figures rather than the reigning queens, or at least this is what the girls are saying and that um, their self esteem was shot. Um, with them so I'm we don't know exactly what's going on so um, I hope you know they can talk and fix things maybe it's a misunderstanding maybe it's not mm -hmm. but definitely organizers um, have the responsibility to make sure that the girls feel that they're safe and well taken care of you know no matter what I think that's just super important because they're the ones who are in our they have responsibility over us, really. They, they mm -hmm. have the responsibility of our, our safety when we're abroad. And we are, you know, giving a lot of our lives to the organization as well. We don't take other jobs. We try to follow their rules. Medyo, mm -hmm. ano tayo eh, para silang magulang natin eh, we are kind of very much dependent on the organization. So yeah. when the organization fails, then it really feels like, ano nagagawin ko, di ba? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I, I hope they fix that. I, I hope it's just misunderstanding. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Developing I mean, story pa yan eh. Hindi pa nagsustatement yung org. So I also ah. want to see their side. But Definitely. it's interesting na may lumabas na ganun. Kasi, you know, Miss Venezuela, parang sobrang competitive rin dyan eh. Diba? It's Very a culture cool. maybe that yes. is affecting the whole um, dynamic of mm -hmm. older beauty queens working with the newer ones. I don't know. Tama. Tama. But Tama. then, I, I mean, I want to trust in the fact that um, past queens kasi yung, um, or yung committee. So, you know, I want to trust in the, the, the idea na siguro naman na feel nila yung na feel no mga girls. Yes, and, yes. um, uh, well, well, let's just see. Let's just see what happens. Um, again, uh, sana maayos nila to, but it is a developing story. And then, uh, we'll see what plays out next. Yeah. And before we wrap up Queen Cap, marami tayong viewers that are pointing out na kung nanalo na ng Miss World Philippines crown, hindi na pwedeng sumali ulit. So, that's something that we have to confirm. Thank you so much for pointing that out. Pero wow, yung okay. specific na tinanong ko kay Mama Ru is, so si Win pwede pang sumali. <laughs> Kasi yun, yun nga yung maraming ano, nagtatanong uh -oh. and sabi niya, uh -oh. yes. Anak, pwede po. Pwede niya kaya, tanongin natin. po ang info. Tara. <laughs> oh, magtatanong niya. <natin. laughs> yeah, All right, so that wraps up our trip. So, moving on to our topic for today. Actually, the whole week, whole two weeks na nawala kami, we've been brainstorming about ano ba yung topics na gusto natin. And for the first episode, we don't have a guest. It's just the three of us. Because we wanted to talk about something that's Relatable, not just to pageant contestants and beauty queens, but it's something that 
um, other people can also relate to. So today, we're just going to dive deep into overcoming challenges. Coming tatlo, we all experience pageant failures one way or the other. So we're going to tell you about those moments and how we pulled through at ano yung naging impact nun sa buhay namin ngayon. So to start things off, guys, I'm just going to throw out like the first question. Looking back at your pageant journey, Tia Mona, what would you say was the biggest challenge of your pageant career? Uh, the biggest challenge? Well, there's so many challenges because um, it took me a long time. So parang three, parang ako nag-aral, parang high school, three years siya. Um, and then one more year as Miss Universe. So parang four years nga talaga. Um, I think the biggest challenge was really trying to find the right formula. That's a big challenge. Parang kung paano ba yung tama na timpla? Because when you're a candidate and you're new and you have no experience, you rely so much on the feedback of others, the feedback of the fans, the feedback of your mentors. And then also, you're, you pa parang babalansin mo, do I follow my gut instinct? What if this is what I really want to do or this is what I want to talk about, this is what I want to wear, this is how I want to present myself or how I want to be. But then this is what they're telling me to do. So how do you find that, that right balance? I think one of the challenges for me is finding yung balance na I'm listening to what the mentors are teaching me, but I'm also not losing my identity. Um, that's a challenge. Also, parang you're growing up as a woman as you compete and as you keep, uh, well, in my case, as I kept joining, I felt like I kept growing also as a person and learning more about myself and having really a lot of self-awareness with ah okay so last year I was like this and this is what I learned from it and then this year this is how I'm gonna do it differently so not only is it finding the right formula to win but then finding yourself it is a it is a parang journey of growth and mm -hmm. maturity so tsaka ano ha masakit din kayang matalo Isa pa yun, parang, okay, natalo ka. Paano ka naman babangon ulit? How do you get back from that again? It's so hard, you know? Especially if you, you're the kind of person who thrives on other people's feedback, which in my case, I was. So yun yung parang just some of the challenges. Ang dami! Ang daming challenges! Parang, <laughs> I don't know all about it. But what about you guys? Ikaw, Mar. Well, I... For me, well, the biggest, I guess, challenge was losing, <laughs> was losing the international pageant. I know a lot of girls don't want to talk about it. And I think this is one of the reasons why I, you know, I was so happy that we brought this topic on because um, I think people for people don't see or forget that losing for, for, for the girls who are competing, it's, it's a big emotional um Pangyayari, alam yun. Um, ako, mm. the moment that I was not called in the top 10, and I know you're supposed to be a graceful loser and everything, pero sabihin ko sa inyo, humagulgul ako, as in full-on breakdown in the backstage while the, the other girls were being called. Um, the, the other contestants had to, you know, kind of comfort me in the back. <laughs> like, as in drama talaga, guys. Like, on the floor, crying. Oh my God, I can't believe, like... You know, it wasn't because I I personally felt bad. I, I wasn't thinking of myself. I think it was more of like, oh my God, what will the Filipino people say? Like, um, I was supposed to go there and win a back-to-back -back win. And I didn't even get into the top 10. And it hadn't, ha and that didn't happen. Like, before I went on, all the Filipinas would, you know, end up semi-finalists. And then me, <laughs> wala, no wala. And, you know, there were not, uh, there were people who were very quick to point that out to me. As if I didn't know. As if it wasn't something that was in my mind already, diba? Um, guys. Like, because us girls really do want to um, do our best and represent the country well. And... We end up, which is something that I think um, we should kind of avoid, we end up tying our self-worth to the outcome of the competition. When 
when you think about it, it's not that way. Um, uh, just because you did it, mean, mean, win win Marquette's trust. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you didn't win the crown doesn't mean you're any less of a successful woman or that you're any less beautiful or that you deserve the national title any less. That's not true, guys. And even if you are competing for a national uh, title, if you don't win that competition, it doesn't mean that you are not enough, that you, uh, that you will never win or that you will never be successful, that that's something that we should take out of our minds. And we should not be ashamed. We should not be ashamed that we quote unquote lost. You know, it's not a shame. It's so brave that you even decided to, you know, step out of your comfort zone and put yourself in such a vulnerable position. You know, you worked on yourself, you uh, met people, you, you know, parang, it's not about just the outcome. Mm -hmm. It's also the journey to get there. And um, it's hard to think about that, right? After you lose, <laughs> that's not what you are thinking. You're thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do now? It's, who am I? You know, am I just a loser now? Will that be who I will be forever? And I have to say, I, I felt when I came home, I felt, um, I don't want to say depressed because there are a lot of people who, you know, are clinically diagnosed as depressed and I can't say that I am. So I'll, it's more of I, I got into a dark place. I went into a dark place and um, I, didn't, I didn't want anything to do with pageants. Uh, I didn't want. Uh, anything, as in, pag tinatag ako sa mga Miss International post ko, you know, I think it took me two years to look uh, at my pageant photos again after losing. So medyo, ano talaga siya, masakit. It, it hurts. So, yeah. Um, actually, actually yeah. Um, what, what was the overwhelming feeling? Was it more of like you were disappointing the Filipinos? Was that the mm -hmm. first thing that came into your head? Very first thing. Very first thing. I said, they are going to hate me. Literally, that's what I thought. They, they, uh, they will... I was supposed to bring home the crown. I broke the streak. Oh my God, I can't believe I broke the streak. So, yun talaga, yun talaga. It was just worst case scenario. Of course, when I came home though, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Definitely a lot of it was just playing in my head as well. But, mm -hmm. syempre, meron din pa rin na yun. Mag-message na, ano ba yan? Si Bianca, na-break niya yung streak namin. Si Bianca, syempre. But, you try to avoid that. Or avoid, uh, looking at those comments na lang. Yeah. Yeah. And what Nina. about you, Carla? I, I remember, I just remember seeing Bianca like after, because Pia and I were there, we were cheering our hearts out for more. I actually didn't know that you cried backstage because when we pulled you, parang gutom ka lang, joke lang. <laughs> oh, but yeah, parang, it was also really emotional for us knowing the hard work that you put into that so definitely mm -hmm. like we're so proud of you and how you performed as our mr international philippine we love you <laughs> okay um for me naman two things i feel like i never really figured myself out during my pageant journey because i wasn't really as daring i didn't you know me like i would wait for everyone to tell me what to do Parang I was sobrang masunurin ko to the point that I never really exerted what I really wanted to convey yeah. during my pageant journey. So looking back, I kind of wish na parang what I what I feel about myself now. I wish I felt that way during my when I was competing because I just felt lost generally for the three pageants. I guess nagsimula ako maaga. I was just twenty years old when I joined Motian ng Pilipinas. So parang naging yun na yung naging trend ko. Mm -hmm. I, of course, approached Miss Real Philippines differently. I approached Binibining Pilipinas differently, but I never truly felt comfortable with myself. So that's why when we give advice here on Quintuhan, masasali pa lang or ones who are competing now, like really look into yourself because it's so important when you're on the stage. Like that is what will really come out. That is where you will draw your confidence from. 
Because you always have to uh, be very confident in who you are. And then, dalawang masakit na moments that really stood out was when I lost Miss World Philippines. Because I was, no, I really thought that I would end up in the top five. And then, when hindi, nang hindi ako natawag, um, that was the time where I really like walked off the stage. You know, hindi na ako nakahug sa mga winners because I was so upset. Like, I had to leave because hahagulgul ako on stage. Tapos, mm-hmm. sa Binibining Pilipinas naman, sa batch natin, when I didn't get called for the um, top 40, hindi ako nakapasok as a candidate. And then, imagine me, an, a national title holder. I was already motya ng Pilipinas Intercontinental. And then I couldn't get in, baby. And then all of you were doing your um, photo shoots inside. And I had to walk out. And I had to walk through the pageant media. And they were all like, what happened? You know? that I think that was one of the most painful um, moments in joining pageants. So yun talaga yung mga moments that stood out for me. Gabi, yeah. And... <clears throat> I know people mean well when they ask what happened, blah, blah, blah. But like, syempre, ano masasagutin ko eh? If I knew what no. happened, what was wrong, di ba? Di sana hindi ko ginawa. No. Yeah. <laughs> sana, isa akong malaking, alam mo yung emoji na ganun? Yun ako. No. <laughs> Kaya nga, when, when they called like two days after and they were like, hey, um, merong na disqualify because of height. Um, because they didn't reach the height requirements, are you still willing to join? Parang, medyo nag ano pa ako, like, I, I was kind of like, yung pride ko was kind of getting in the way. Like, should I join? Should I say no? But mm-hmm. I'm super happy because obviously, like, I met the two of you and iba pa rin talaga yung experience getting to become part of the Binibini family. So I'm super happy that I didn't let my pride stop me <laughs> during that time. Mm-hmm. Me too. Buti na lang. Sumali Buti na lang. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Kundi hindi tayo, wala tayong kwentuhan. Wala. Yeah. <laughs> wala tayong 2 2 2 8, eight. Oo. Wala tayong yema. <laughs> <laughs> Pero oh lahat tayo, we went through that moment nga, yung, yeah. yung alam natin na talo na tayo. And we had yeah. to stay on that stage. Ikaw, P, um, you went through it twice. Well, you won naman first runner-up. And then the next year, our year, was when you didn't get in. Like, what was that feeling like for you? Yeah. Um, yung first runner-up, I... Kasi, I guess the first time I joined, I was overconfident and I kind of was banking on, this star magic ako, eh, pasok ako dyan. Alam mo yun? <laughs> <laughs> so parang ano tapos biglang <laughs> tapos ano um, and also that it was so weird just being the only runner up wala man lang akong ka partner yung parang tapos hindi rin pwedeng mawala ako because if I'm gone yung blocking nila hindi na tama so wala na si universe sa gitna so I always had to be around and then always people would always ask like parang Nasaan yung crown mo? Parang, kita mo nga, runner-up, di ba? Yan, no? Nakalagay sa runner-up. Pag crown, crown. Tapos, alam mo yun, yung parang, tapos yung ano nga, yung, yung mga ganon. Yung second time naman, uh, second time was when we all, the three of us, joined. If you, the people who are watching right now, kung hindi nyo alam, that was 2014. Yeah. That was when Marian became Binibinin Pilipinas International. Which I was really happy. I was like, totoo to ah, wala tong etos, hindi ako ganon na, na parang, nee, dapat, di, di ako ganon. So I, I was really happy. But um, it was just weird because I, it was weird because MJ was beside me. And then parang, parang pinaglalaroan ako ng, <laughs> ng camera kasi gumaganon sa amin dalawa eh. Parang, <laughs> right, eh. so parang, <laughs> may excited ako sa parang ano 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 
Ah, uh, yung parang nakalimutan ko na kung saan akong dressing room pumasok. Nagkamali pa nga ako ng pasok. Parang, oh, wrong room. Tapos, mm-hmm. and then I went to, I eventually made it to my room. And then I, yeah. and then I just cried there. And then some yeah. of the girls came to me to comfort me also. Um, yeah. Ang maganda doon, yung mga nag-comfort sa akin, hindi ko sila ka-close doon sa batch natin. In mm-hmm. fact, galing sila sa kabilang camp, KF sila. Mm-hmm. Pero, alam mo, yung pagka natapos na lahat, lahat tayo, pare-pareho tayo ng nararamdaman eh. Kahit na ibang camp ka, iba ako, we all, we're all women here and we all feel the same thing. And it's, yeah. it's the, the, these camp wars are gone. Like, yung mga rivalry na to, they're gone. And maraming, ano, parang maraming naman nag-comfort. We were all comforting each other. So, ano, sa akin yun yung na-feel ko. Para kung lutang. Para kung yeah. like, Oh, okay. Tapos parang ang dami mo, nag, ang mabilis. Parang, okay, what am I gonna do now? Uwi ako, wala na akong gagawin bukas, wala na mga activities sa Binibini. Tapos, ano, one year na naman, sali na naman ako. Kaso, may iba pang pageant, Miss World kaya. Alam mo yung parang lahat yun nagpa-play sa isip mo. Parang gagawin ko sa sarili. Alam mo, hindi ko mapanood yung replay sa TV. Kasi, nire-replay nila lagi yung nitong ang linggo, nanalo yung mga <laughs> yung laging nagre-replay hindi ko kaya hindi ko kaya talaga parang ang hirap, oo oh, ang hirap and then sa, sa Miss Universe naman parang siguro yung mga nanonood nito, eh kasi nanalo ka naman so wala ka siguro experience or parang any parang fear nung time na yun grabe yung pressure pa rin ha mas sure. grabe pa kasi ano eh, I remember really waking up May, my roommate, and talking to her and being like, I'm so scared because if I don't make it, I I don't think I can go home. Sinabi ko sa kanya. Like, sinabi ko talaga kay Myanmar, yung roommate ko, I don't think I can go home. Kasi it was like what you mentioned, Mar, it's not because of me na parang sa akin kasi tong victory, it's more of disappointing everyone. Like, you don't... Yes. Not that not, yun yung number one eh parang people think mm. na hindi kasi gusto mo lang manalo ka hindi ah mm. di lang naman ako to parang tayong lahat to and like if I hurt myself and disappoint myself I think I'd be able to get over it but, but if I hurt everybody yun ang masakit you know so Definitely. anyway huh. <laughs> <laughs> we felt the emotions no but like i mean i can only imagine i wasn't able to compete internationally but you're, you're you have the weight of the entire philippines on your shoulders so bigat talaga ng responsibility especially given how vocal pageant fans are about how they feel about you that really gets yeah. to you like it's it's all weighing on you when you're on stage but you know what something interesting for me in terms of the losing experience in Miss World Philippines, like I mentioned, like I was so competitive. Like, dapat top five ako, hindi ko matanggap. Like, lalayas ako kasi I can't, <laughs> I can't believe I didn't win. But then during the Bini Bini journey, just because the three of us like enjoyed so much together and we had a really fun time during the pre pageant activities, when I was on stage and I didn't get in, I didn't feel so bad because I was busy cheering for both of you. Like I was I was distracted because I wanted you guys to win. So parang feeling ko naging ano ako. Okay, okay lang ako. Parang okay na ako agad. Nawala yung pagiging over competitive. Ano ba? Naiiyak ko sa <laughs> no, It's true though. It's true though. Like I don't remember feeling any bitterness. Um, during the Binibini experience. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're getting really emotional. So I'm going to throw out the next question, guys. So these obviously were big challenges for us. Yes. What would you say was the most effective thing that you did after to be able to pull through and move forward and prepare yourself for the next challenge? Oh. Honestly, um... I had to kind of just disconnect a bit from it all. I had mm. to take time for myself. I had to just focus na lang first on my family, on my loved mm-hmm. ones. Um, anyway, you kind of, I think it helps to just, 
I'm not saying to shut everyone out forever, uh, but it's more of just take a little bit of a breather from thinking about everyone else. And mm-hmm. it's time for you to just think about yourself and just concentrate on what makes you happy right now mm-hmm. so that you can heal and move on. And then, um, and I guess just kind of just condition, you know, just reminding yourself and having people around you, very important also, having people around you that care about you to tell you that you are, you know, who you are now is no different from who you are before you lost. You're still the same person. You're still, you know, kind. You're still beautiful. You're still, you know, all the other different aspects that maybe the competition or the judges didn't see. Um, just someone to remind you that you're still who you are. Really great. It's just that you didn't win the crown. And that's okay. And I think that that really helped me. Ikaw, P, what, what was your, like, coping mechanism after... You know, not winning those two times. I I agree with Mar. It's really effective, and kailangan actually kailangan mong mag mawala muna. Um, you need a break. You need time to kind of you know um pause, press pause, just take a break and re ano plan plan again and um figure out ano ba yung mga do I still want to do this again? What did I learn from it? How do I make myself better? All these things. Um, and sometimes you got to step away from it to be able to get a better view of everything that's going on. Um, so I agree. Ganun din ang ginawa ko. Um, ano muna ako? Nag-focus muna ako sa ibang bagay. Uh, Nagpaka-busy ako with the little gigs I was doing, with Inquirer, with... Um, with modeling here and there, ganon, and ganon muna, and then, um, and just, I, 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 I avoided it for a while, I'm not gonna lie, I, I also kind of avoided it, and I think that's healthy, kailangan mo yun eh, yeah, kailangan mo yun, hindi naman parang laban-laban ka lang palagi, hindi ah, sometimes, actually, taking a few steps back is, is needed. So healthy um, even. Yes, yes. So that's what I did. Yeah, I remember you even did uh an inquire shoot with us. Uh well, yeah. you, you wrote an art you wrote an article about us. I think it was a shoe brand. I'm not gonna say <laughs> but again, <laughs> a shoe brand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For inquire. So yeah, I remember you were you were doing a lot of things at that time. And it yeah, mga, it mga like rocket. It. Yeah, rocket here and there. Some girls they go back doing their, you know, their job. Yung para lang madistract sila for a little bit. Some yeah. pahanap ng mga rocket here and there uh, to earn. Um, depende kasi kung anong plano mo eh, if you want to join again or not. But in my case, I said to myself the second time, yung year natin na hindi ako nanalo. Um, I told myself, sige na nga, hindi na ako mag announce kasi nakakahiya na eh. <laughs> hindi na ako mag announce So parang, basta last minute na lang, bigla na lang akong dadating dun, parang surprise, I'm back. <laughs> Pero sabi ko, hindi na lang. Kasi nakaka-affect sa akin, kasi alam nyo, mahilig ako magbasa. Alam nyo yan, guys. I love reading comments. <laughs> so, um, yes. But in all comments, so if I announce too early, then I would hear the parang, ay, ikaw na naman, sali ka na naman. Alam ko na kasi na yun ang marinig ko. So, to avoid it na lang, parang, basta, I'll just show up. I'll just do what I want this time. Alam mo yung parang, my thinking then was, I'm already rock bottom. I, I all, napahiya na ako. So, hindi nyo na ako maha-hurt kasi na-hurt na ako. Parang ano, <laughs> parang, it's like, it's like going through a breakup. Don't you Tama. think? It is. It is. It's as emotional, if even not more. Because uh, I don't know how to ex- explain it. I guess I don't know if um, people have not joined competitions. Um, if they, but I think all of us know how it is to invest so much in something, whatever it may be. May it be a competition, a business, a relationship, a friendship, whatever. You, the feeling of putting everything that you can into it and then it not working out the way you mm. want it. 
Yeah. yeah it's it, ganun talaga. It's, it's, it's hard. It takes a piece of you. Um, a little mm-hmm. piece of you. And you really have to take time to recover. So, Iko Carlos, like, you joined um, Bilibini, you joined Miss World, you joined Mutya. What helped you kind of just pull through all of that and be like, you know what? Don't matter to me. <laughs> oh, I am actually very similar to you guys. Pero parang I, I like setting a time limit talaga. Because, I mean, you have to feel those emotions. Like, if you feel bad, just feel it. Like, cry it out. Yeah. Magmukmuka sa kwarto. Kainin mo lahat ng gusto mong kainin. Eat a whole pizza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah but then... Um, I agree that you really have to dive into like a new project. Like just set mm-hmm. even just like one new goal and then you just distract yourself and keep yourself busy. Like it might be video games, it might be Netflix, or it might be a new business, you know, anything, mm-hmm. like any of your interests. But just kind of divert those feelings and pour it out into something else. Because you can't do it. Um, yeah. It happened. Like, you have to pull yourself through. So yeah. after kind of like um, diving deep into your feelings, try to just distract yourself. So for yeah. mga nagpa pageant or people who are going through challenges, I think this is pretty much applicable to um, a lot of things. That are going on, oh, yes. and actually, like we thought of this topic, because it's very challenging. Rin yung time natin ayon. Uh, the three of us were all pretty much freelancers, so talagang na apek to hundred yung line of work natin. We are, you know, trying to. Parang we're we're in the middle of figuring out, like, what is the new normal? How do we go get back to working? And that's why this um, podcast. Came about all also, de ba? It was a it was a silver lining because of the situation. Pero this is a challenging time for a lot of us. For you guys, um, since the lockdown, ngayon balik MECQ tayo. Like, how has this pandemic affected you? Like in the present, what are the, what are the biggest challenges? Um. Emotionally, I think at first I I I, I didn't. Siguro in denial pa ako. So kahit na okay lang yan. Mahilig naman ako sa bahay. May Netflix naman, may puppies naman. Okay lang yan. I'll be okay. It, it's gonna be okay. You know. But after a few months, and especially when the cases started rising, and we had to go back to MECQ, the mental toll started kind of showing. You know. Um. Sometimes I have. Either like sometimes I'm in a bad mood, like irritated, or sometimes magkaha palpitations ako, like mm-hmm. bigla lang bibilis yung puso ko, and then it it bigla lang parang it just feels like all of a sudden oh something bad's gonna happen, and then it'll pass, yeah. and like oh what was that, de ba? And then syempre nag doctor Google ako, <laughs> and you know it's actually more. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's one of the signs of you know anxiety. So I go, hala, I'm I'm developing pala some some um symptoms of anxiety na pala. I, I didn't think you know it was something I had to worry about, but it's here because you know every day you're so unsure about what's gonna happen. You're unsure when your next paycheck is coming. I mean, guys, ha. Huh? I know my beauty queen, kami, pero hindi kami rich. I mean, we have to worry about our next paycheck. You know, we we have to worry about how we're gonna, you know, live day to day. Uh, so hirap talaga. Um, I'm just again, I'm glad that Queen Tuhan is here for to to help me with that. And with season two, it helped me um, just cope cope with everything. Um, of course, trying. And okay, sometimes I like to listen to the news because I want to know what's going on all the time. But then sometimes I just want to forget about it and move on to Netflix or YouTube and not even think about anything that's happening, <laughs> you know, and that's okay. You know, Aho, I'm a, I, I believe in escapism, but only to a certain degree. I think escaping from a, rea- from a problematic reality is healthy for a for a while, for like, just to calm yourself or relax yourself. I think it, that's okay. And like going back to what we were saying, like 
um, yung sinabi natin na going into yourself muna and kind of focusing on yourself and, and feeling the pain. Tama lang. But again, always um, remember that kailangan pa natin tumayo ulit. You know, this is not the end. Ang haba-haba ng buhay. You know, life is is a marathon and there's just so many, many challenges, many unexpected, you know, crises that we will experience. Pero, you know, we pull through. You yeah. know, um, and yeah, <laughs> I forgot now what was my point, but <laughs> my point was MECQ. Yeah, okay, MECQ. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We got it. We got it. <laughs> yeah. Just, what about you, P? I mean, you're always like super busy. How how different and how challenging has that been for you? Um, no, una, I kind of. Okay, the the this whole pandemic may good and bad sa akin. The good thing is it forced me to to rest. Um, I don't think I've been very vocal about it, but then I don't think also a lot of people really know how hard I work. I don't have a day off, and even when I'm sick, I still go. Like talagang basa sa akin work above. Everything, work over everything, work over everything. Talagang number one priority. Pero na bu burn out na ako ng mga bandang end of last year, tas early this year. Na feel ko na siya na ala malapit na ako ma burn out. Um, and then this happened. So then it was parang timing then kasi okay now. Pwede akong mag-recharge, mag-isip, mag- mag-plano ulit. Um, I, I, I have a lot of anxiety, so, um, and I'm not just, it's, I'm not just saying that as an expression, it's, it's real, um, and, I, and yeah. I'm trying to manage that every day. But I, yeah. so, merong time no mga first few months na ang taas, kasi pagka binu-open ko yung balita sa TV, I don't. I don't agree with what's going on. I. I wanna. It makes me angry when I hear about everything that's on the news, and then it just it brings out all these emotions. Tas wala ka magawa kasi nasa bahay ka lang. Tas parang ano ba? Alam mo yung parang I guess when you're cooped up in your room and then you're hearing of all these things, it affects you a lot. Tas parang feeling mo powerless ka ganyan. So it that. And then, walang tamang working hours pag nasa bahay ka eh. So, it's not like when you're out, yeah. daytime is work time. And then, when you get home, that's rest time. But then, because you're working from home, it's all day. So, I thought na, baka kapag tayo niyo, pero hindi, nagmi-meeting pa rin ako kahit 11 p.m. na. Meron pa rin akong mga kausap, ganyan. So, um, okay. Ang <laughs> dami ko sinabi. <laughs> um, <laughs> The bad. The good is that um, I am learning to. I learned so much. I learned so much. I have so many realizations. Um, with ano ba yung mga really what makes me happy? Things that questions that I tried to avoid before, like ano nga ba mga gusto gawin ko aside from work. Hindi work lang gusto ko. Iwasan ko kasi dahil talagang work miss work kasi ako. So now na wala na work or nabawasan ng konti yung work kasi nga di tayo pwedeng lumabas. Parang yeah. I appreciate the little things now like seeing my family. Like parang dati, okay lang. Pero ngayon parang, oh my God, like I'm so happy. Tapos yeah. just like my morning coffee makes me happy. Just to be able to walk for a little bit. The exercise makes me happy. Like little things that were like nothing to me really not like family was nothing but then you know what i mean parang mga yes. little everything <laughs> um they, those make me so happy now and then when i look at my cabinet for example like all of these clothes and these bags and these shoes mm-hmm. like why did i even buy all of this like what a waste like parang mm-hmm. you just realize so much and then mm-hmm. i don't i could eh ang haba ko na nung sinabi ko pero ang dami kong na-realize ang dami kong yeah. natutunan it kind of it, it kind of made me 
go back to basics and appreciate um, the little things. So yun yung good. And I also realized that um, there's a lot of things I don't like about the government. That's also one of the things that I realized. <laughs> so um, yeah, good and bad. Marami ako mga good and bad experiences sa quarantine. But more, mm -hmm. I'd like to say mostly good. I'd like to yes. say mostly good because um, kahit na we're in this in this situation and the whole world is going through it and there's a lot of things happening in the Philippines and in the world. Sa sarili ko, feeling ko nag-grow talaga ako as a person. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And we're, we're so fortunate and so blessed. You know, so many other people are way worse off than us. Oh, yeah. And um, the fact that we can still find the silver lining and, and you know, it's a privilege. It's a privilege. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's okay. I mean, it's, you always have to find the good, even in the worst situation, I think. And yeah. it, it helps. Yeah. I guess it's it's kind of like these things we took for granted before this yeah. all happened. Because yeah. okay, after work, I'll see them in my family, but I'm not really yeah. like fully there. I'm on my phone. But then yeah. now it's like you really you really cherish like the little things. And yes. that has been one of the biggest like changes, I would say. Um and it's been it's been quite an emotional roller coaster because like for me i've just been at home and at the start it was like and dami kong time i have to be productive like i have all this time i have to take online classes kailangan mag workout three times a day i have to learn you know parang and daming pressure to be productive yeah. yes. and then i just got burnt out guys like for the last month walang ginagawa and then like i felt like i was so hard on myself like i'm not doing anything like i have to do something what am i doing but then i just feel so tired all the time i hit na walang nangyayari like i'm just playing video games so parang i guess it's just being kind to ourselves also and not being so hard and not putting too much pressure because we're all trying to navigate this like unknown yes. territory so mm -hmm. uh, that's one of the things that I learned. And I guess also just focusing on yourself. Because when you look at other people, like, bakit siya ganito, but siya okay lang? Parang, no, it's just really focusing on what you have and all the, you know, like, mahirap eh. Like, it's a, it's a toxic trait, I guess, yeah. that oh, I personally have. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. Parang na-insecure ako when I see other people. But then I'm always like, why? You know, like I have to be bettering myself. So, parang I guess constantly calling myself out to stay grounded also during this time. Yeah, okay, yun parang, We're really privileged to you know have opportunity to just stay at home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a lot of people are having really hard time during yeah. this. Yep. Definitely. Pero sobrang gets kita, Carlos, yung sinasabi mo na when you, you know, when you look at people on your feed, let's say, and they seem to be thriving in, in this situation, nakaka-insecure talaga siya. But again, reminder to ourselves, what we put on social media, super curated. We, we don't know what yeah. that person is really going through. We don't know the hardships that they're going through. They, may, they might be having, like, an easy breezy time, but you know, behind the photo, it's not like that. And, mm -hmm. um, and, oh, it gets good naman kung ba't ganun sa social media. And it's also nice then to see people who are thriving and, um, na, you know, with a good feed kasi nakaka-inspire din. But, yeah. of course, when you're feeling low, instead of feeling inspired, you feel deflated or you feel yeah. like you can't achieve the same thing. So, ano rin mm -hmm. siya perspective. perspective. Uh -oh. But, Maybe if you can be more aware about it, like if you, you know, when you feel something, isipin mo muna, bakit kaya? Ba't ko kaya na-feel to? Yeah. It's definitely more about me than it's about that person. So, bakit kaya? So, For sure. It, it's helpful. It's, because you learn things about yourself also by doing that. It's an active, I know, a shifting of perspective and just trying to be like a better person. When we have all this time with ourselves at home. <laughs> so, you know, like this has been 
an, a, an emotional topic. We have almost yeah. burst into tears several times during this episode. Yeah. I hope that, you know, some of these things, like, I'm pretty sure that some of our viewers are also going through, like, the same thing. Like, you might relate to Pia or yeah. Bianca. Hopefully, like, there are some takeaways also that will be able to help you as we yeah. try to go through these challenges together. So let's just I mean, lighten the so mood fun. a bit. Yeah, it, it's yeah, a, sorry, go ahead, it's a long topic. Like, parang hindi natin talaga siya mapagkakasya in one hour because hindi we talaga. could go on and on about it. But um, yeah, I agree. We'll, we'll just keep doing this, right? We'll just keep doing this every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Yeah. It's a date, mm-hmm. guys. We'll just keep it's doing it. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> oh, yes, oh, in oh, chat. Oh, oh. oh, yes. And we have our Facebook group. So, guys, yes. you know, this is the reason why we made the Facebook group. Because we have a lot topics that means we are not in one hour. And sometimes we want you guys to tell us what you think. And we are not going to do this on all the time. So, in the FB group, we are going to do this. We are going to talk about all your favorite pageant things. And... Please tell us. I want to know. I honestly want to know. Go on over to our FB group and just let's post. Let's talk to each other about how we're dealing with what's happening right now in the pandemic or any challenges that you've faced before or you're facing now and the lessons that you learned. Because I honestly want to know. I want to learn from people. Uh, that's that's how. Yeah. Sometimes because sometimes because there's one person who's been experienced it and has learned it. Then you. Magugulat ka pa. Ay, pwede pala 'yun. Parang you learn then from the experiences of other people kasi you don't experience what they experience eh, but you can learn from what they experience. So that's what, you know, ganun tayo guys. Gusto ko ganun tayo sa ating ano. Uy, sasabihin na natin yung community name natin. Ito In na just po. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Pero yeah, guys, um, go ahead. We're gonna, we're all there, ha. Huh? Like the three yeah. of us are admins, so we're really like, we really want to talk to you guys, and we want to build this community. Like, let's talk about pageants and let's talk about life. So, like, yeah. sabi ni Mar, parang it's like our, our little Queen Tuhan support system. So yeah, it's www.facebook.com/groups/queen So hit that um, join button now. So before we move forward, we actually have a game bago namin i-announce yung winner. So we're playing the BFF game today. We've been wanting to play this for a long time. <laughs> so I'm what we're going to do is, so I'm going to start. So I, I'm going to ask a question about myself. Pia and Mar are going to answer. Tapos titingnan natin kung sino yung mas tama. And then we're just going to go around and maybe we can do two rounds. Two or three, depends on the time that we have. All right. Simple enough. Okay, Simple. Ako na muna. Okay. okay. Ano yung pagkain na kasama sa binibini diet natin that I couldn't eat after because sawang sawa na ako. <laughs> Dami nito. Si Pia. Ay, ano? Sulat ba? Ay sulat ba? Oo, si sulat. Okay. <laughs> Akala ko iniisip mo lahat ng pruta sa farmers market. <laughs> <laughs> Excited ako eh. What is it? Sky flakes. Come on. <laughs> Wala. Walang tama. It's Hard no boiled egg. 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 Ah! Ah! Yeah. That was the best. no. Okay, ah. P. Ask, ask. P. Ask. Question. Okay, 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 okay. Everybody knows my favorite color was blue. But before blue, or ano ba talaga yung tunay na favorite? Favorite color? Yep. Ah, clue, 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 clue. clue. Yeah. So, putong color na to nung mock pageant ng year natin. Oh, I know this. <laughs> Ako <rin. laughs> One, two, three. One, three. two, three. Go. Yes! I remember <laughs> that now. <laughs> That's why I chose it. Because it was like, yes, that one. I love that color. I don't really care about that color. More of that color. Yeah, yeah, that color. Same okay. tayo. It's also my favorite color. Oh! Okay, Mar. Shoot your question. 
Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> okay. Uh, my question is... Oh, by the way, chat, you can join. Si Bessie, oh, Green, alam na. Siyempre, alam mo. <laughs> Ay, alam. Alam ni Bess. Okay. Pula rin kayo, guys. Sali rin kayo sa game namin. Okay, go, Mar. <laughs> all right. I think it's pretty easy. I think all of you know this. Uh, actually, hindi. I'll make it harder. Um, give me... Two types of either food, dessert, whatever, that I don't eat or that I hate. Two. Because I know you know one, but give me two. <laughs> dessert oh, no, no, or... Kahit ano. Kahit ano. Any, dessert? Any, any food that I hate, that I don't eat. Two of... Two, two foods? Tama ba? Foods. I only know one. <laughs> no, no. It's not. It's just food. Yeah. <laughs> I only know Two one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a wild guess. I'm gonna take a wild guess. Okay. Ready? Wait. Ready. Let's see if Um, parang, okay, okay, okay. Go! Okay, one, two, one, go! go. <laughs> I see Pia, hindi pa nakuha yung isa. I joke lang. Oh <laughs> Ay, iba to pareho. Yo, okay, tama si Carla sa oranges. That's one. And uh, uh, other two things mangoes. that I hate. Uh, the, the other oh. two things I don't he- eat, eat, eat is mar- marshmallows and what? gummies. What? Marshmallows. Well, I don't like gummies either. But marshmallows? Marshmallows, gummies, and oranges. Oh. Don't. I don't like talaga. So, That's a really I'm weird list. The worst, I mean, the worst. <laughs> Those are the top orange, three. Orange flavored gummy bear. Ew. Interesting. In a marshmallow. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I know one more round pa ba? Kayo guys. One yeah, yeah, we have time. We have time. One more oh, round. Yeah. About easy <laughs> What is the game I play the most nowadays? Nowadays? Shock. Yes. <laughs> like in the past two weeks. I know that. I'm going to go to you. I'm just going to go to you. I'm ready. One, two, three. Hello. <laughs> No, si lumipas okay. na yung panahon ng Valorant. It's you, did. Ha! <laughs> Hindi, okay. And to defend P, busy kasi siya. So, ano. Ako, wala akong, wala akong ginagawa. Yeah. So, si si Mar tumatambay sa stream ko. Talaga? Kaya pala ako. Oh! <laughs> Kaya pala ako, ano Nagugul- gusto nangyayari? Nagugulat ako nandun siya. Ano nangyayari? Anong kailangan gawin? No, you're not a bad friend. Ano ba? No. No, that you're was an easy one for Mar. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you're just a busy friend. Yeah, you're a busy okay, friend. Okay, I'll do it. Valorant pala, hindi Valor. <laughs> Valorant. Valor. I am. <laughs> Okay. Okay, go for it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Ah. What's my favorite drink? Dami nito. <laughs> um, <laughs> alcoholic or non-alcoholic? Alcoholic. Wait, like alcoholic. specific alcoholic. cocktail or like the overall? Uh, no. Um, let's overall. do. Um, let's do. Basta alcoholic. Okay. Okay. Maraming possible Very answers right. naman to. So, game, game, game. Let's see how you, well you guys know me. If you ordered a drink from me, what would you order? Ooh. Okay, okay, ready? Okay, ready, ready. Two, three, two, one, go. Vodka. Dark and stormy vodka. Oh, you guys are good. You guys are good. I like it. I like it. Yes. <laughs> Very, what, was very the, what was the real answer? I mean, there were so many possible answers, actually. <laughs> 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 I'm going to give away a question. 
<laughs> Gusto ko na na vibe ka talaga kami ng dalawa ano. Uh, <laughs> All right. My turn. Oh my god, what's my turn? Okay, uh aha. So yeah. In line with Pia's question, what shot do I love so much to take before any drinking? It's like the first thing I want. Um <laughs> Oh, hindi ko alam. It's a shot hey, no, of alcohol. No, no, no. Okay. Three. Two, one, go. Is it? Bang! Tama yan! Both! Yes! <laughs> you take both! Grabe, guys. Take away, <laughs> mahilig sa alak ang queen. Bokeh! Na bokeh yung chest. <laughs> yung we ran out of time lang eh yung next ko well hindi siya alcohol but I was thinking of including that also but I just went with do I prefer bread or rice <laughs> bread both is it bread bread, <laughs> bread. yas <laughs> bread maganda sana yun ano maganda sana yun ako sama sana uh-huh. Kasi okay, lang, ubusan tayo ng oras. It's okay. We'll do this again. We'll do this yeah, again. we'll do this again next week, Tuesday, 8 p.m. I keep saying yes. it. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we're going to wrap things up. Thank you so much to everyone who uh, took the time to join us for episode one of season two of Quintuhan. Again, please follow all of our social media pages. It's Quintuhan Pod on Instagram. And then group slash Quintuhan to join the community. And of course, our page is also facebook.com slash Quintuhan. And it's time for us to announce the winner of our Body Shop gift pack. Kasi siya ang nagpangalan sa Quintuhan community. Who's gonna do the honors? <laughs> May card ba tayo? Or are we just gonna say it? Okay, no, it's gonna come out. Okay, our winner is Hana Hana Madge Picho how do you say your name sorry Hana Madge Picho it's Queen Dom yeah so usually when you join the Facebook group you'll say welcome to the Queen (laughs) Dom congratulations Hana I hope you're watching we're gonna reach out to you yes. so wait for your message so that we can send you your special prize and to everyone who joined also guys and dami yung entries sobrang enjoy kami ang ang bibo ang creative ng mga ano nyo ng mga sinubmit nyo sa contest namin so thank you and keep watching because we're gonna have more giveaways for our future episodes so yes, again yes yes thank be you part so of the queendom Exactly. Thank you so much to the Queendom. The tayo guys has the Queendom. Uh, the the Queendom. Yes. Para extra and guys, <laughs> just a little reminder, don't forget to also follow us on Spotify because we are a podcast. We are on Spotify. If you search Queen Tuhan, give us a follow and listen to the past episodes there. Also, don't forget to join the Queen Tuhan Facebook group. Do namin actually nakuha yung submission ng pangalan ng Queendom for exclusive content and interact with us. Doon tayo magchichikahan. Follow all yes. of our social media pages also. And don't forget, Tuesday, 8 p.m., it's a date. Lagi natin gagawin to. Yes. So, naka ano na. Because during season one, it was like, you know, different times. But then it's, in Tuhan, it's going to be every Tuesday at 8 p.m. So, again, thank you for joining us today. And we'll see you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.